What's up everybody? Little unexpected video here. I may or may not have been talked into fishing a tournament on Lake Ray Roberts in Texas. A local Texas Bass Nation tournament ran in conjunction with another local trail. And you guys, I didn't have much desire to fish this. I really didn't want to. I've literally never fished this lake. I know nothing about it except for that it can fish really, really tough. And my sweet boyfriend wanted me to fish it, talked me into it because he said it would build character <laughs> and help me become a better angler. I can't totally argue that you guys, but I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to get on the water today. It's Friday, the day before the tournament for maybe two hours, maybe two or three hours since I get a bunch of stuff done. And I guess we'll see how it goes. But yeah, jumping in a tournament on Ray Roberts with 110 other local Texas anglers. Never fished the lake before. Don't have any idea what to do. But I feel like it'll be a fun video. I'm going to take you guys with. We're going to try to learn on the fly. Probably get my butt kicked. But I guess she's right. It'll build character. And we're going to learn a thing or two. So stay tuned. pound leader feel like two after you've been power fishing all oh i was listening to btl this morning and they were talking about uh and why he uses he uses 30 pound main line yeah to that short leader yeah so that it, it has a slower sink rate okay, that makes sense right makes all the freaking sense Stupid little stuff like that where you're like oh my god that's why that dude is where he's at and where everyone else is where they're at I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have no idea what to do. Um, obviously, like I told you guys, I am, uh, I've never fished this area. I've only been on this lake for three total hours. And I caught one fish on a spinnerbait. This just happened to be pretty dang big. It's a 21 incher. But I, uh, so, but I only got one bite in that area. So I came to another area that I've never been to. Only one person at my ramp, which is cool. Um, but I have no idea what to do. So we're going to try to just figure it out on the go. Should be fun, should be challenging. I'm here for it. I've got a Berkeley jerk shad, like a little fluke bait. Got a Berkeley spinner bait. Got a little finesse bladed jig. I mean, I don't know guys. Water temp is 56. Um, it's supposed to get pretty warm today. I think, it, I think it could get good, I don't know. There's some grass in this creek, so I'm a big fan of that. Wait, I didn't have any grass yesterday. I see an inside grass line up shallow. Um, like I said, I, I really don't have any idea what to do right now. We're just gonna literally try to figure it out on the fly. try to go up this creek. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? Good. What, what ramp did you come from? What's that? What ramp did you come from? Uh, you know, right around this corner right here, there's a little public hunting access. I just put in right there. Oh, I was going to say, that's a long trip across. Oh, I know. I've never... 
Yeah, we're, it's just a local bass nation. There's like 105 or so. Oh my, yeah, I went by there yesterday. There, were, I had, there had to be 60 kayakers there. Yeah, so I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> I wanna. Yeah. Christine Fisher. Yep. Okay. I know who you are. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> are you in that high school tournament? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Well, I hope you smash them. I got one good one on a spare bait, but I'm gonna. I've never been to this lake before. I just jumped in this tournament to kind of practice and learn it. Yeah, I've never been here. It's not in my comfort zone, but we're going to try to get a little better. <laughs> You're in a famous creek. Well, shoot, I got in here and there's like eight boats. I was like, holy cow. Yes, it's usually about 15. Really? Yeah. yeah, I liked it. I saw, I looked on Google Earth and just saw there was a bunch of grass in here. I love fishing grass when I came in, but I was going to run up this creek and see if I can't just try to scratch a limit out. But I hope y'all catch them. Guys, it's been a minute since I've been way up a creek. It's been a minute. For those of you that have been following me for quite some time, that's how I uh, I did a lot of my damage years and years ago, way up creeks. But I kind of stopped fishing that way because I was like, man, if I'm gonna jump in the boat, I need to do, I need to kind of start fishing areas where I can fish in the boat. Because we're having in the spirit of just having some fun. I'm gonna run up this one and just kind of see. So I've, there's a big outside channel swing right here. I'm throwing a little shaky head up against the cut bank. I usually can catch fish doing that, but this lake doesn't seem to be playing that way right now for me. <laughs> we might just run up as far as we can go and see what it looks like. Let's go up. Go lock spinner bait in our hands. Go. Inside grass line. I got so much. Ah. Come here. Come here. Got him. Ooh, that's a bigger one on the first one. On inside grass. Nineteen and a half. Yes. <sighs> what a mess that was, though. Inside the grass line. Okay. Maybe we're maybe we're putting together a bit of a. Pattern. Tell you what, one pattern we're picking up on though. Not to use the dang live scope. Just putting that up. Okay, you guys. We literally have three hours left and I need three more fish. So you know I always like to do that. I need, a, I need to bite an hour. Bite an hour. Honestly, that seems like a lot. If I could knock one of those bites out right now, I'd feel a lot better. Tells you right there though we are not putting this dang spinner bait down. It's gonna be about a 12 incher. No, nope, 13. I think if I just 
minutes to get five fish. 20 minutes to get one bite. Size went down, but let's just challenge challenge ourselves to get a dang that gum limit. Bob. I doubt I cut a check. I had, uh, I had mid 80s or so. These Texas guys are so dang good. I know the bite turned on that last half an hour. I know people probably crushed them, but you guys, my goal was just to come out here and just try to learn and try to pattern this leg kind of on the fly. And we did that. Yes. And we did that. So let's get the fish submitted. We're going to go check in and I'll let you guys know what we did. GoPro, start recording. All right, you guys, just got back to the ramp. The standings show I'm in third. I can't really believe that. Um, but that's be pretty exciting if that were the case. So waiting for G to pick me up. He dropped me off this morning um, about a half hour away from where he was going, 45 minutes or so. So waiting for him to pick me up, and then we're going to figure out how this all went down. 
got some hardware. Can you guys believe that? Third place, you guys. Third place in the Texas Bass Nation out of 84 people. Third place in the local Texas Trail with 110 people. Two third places. Oh my gosh, what a fun day. What a fun day. I can't even believe that. That last half an hour, those fish fired up. I had no idea what I was doing. I just stood up all day, locked that spinnerbait in my hands, and went to work doing what I love to do. I guess G was right. I did need to challenge myself. It was good for me to get out there, fish a lake I hadn't had really any experience on at all, and just get out there and learn and try to put it together on the fly. Didn't use electronics at all, except for that 45 minutes I wasted on the live scope. You guys, oh my gosh, how much fun was that? Big thank you to Texas Bass Nation, to Duke and Tracy for running an amazing event. The Texas Anglers, I, they're the best local sticks in the country. I'll say that a thousand times. It always makes me better competing against them. So much fun. I ended up with 87 and a half inches. Pretty good bag, actually. All on the spinnerbait, half ounce. You guys, thank you so much for following along. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed fishing it. That kind of surprised me a little bit. But anyway, it's hot. I'm gonna go get some celebratory ice cream, take everybody out for ice cream. God bless y'all. Get out there on the water, have a good time. Enjoy Texas fishing right now because it's busting wide open. Appreciate y'all, love y'all. We'll catch you next time.